Okay, well, it's, a, it's actually a warm day here in Texas, according to uh, my thermometer's 48 here in my garage. Uh, I've been riding my uh, Ninja around a lot this morning, uh, being kind of a renegade. I got it inspected, but it's out of uh, it's out of uh, registration. I need to update the registration on it, so it would be liable for a ticket. Plus, it's kind of cold. I wanted to ride over to the BMW dealer because he's having an open house. So I rolled big Elvira out there <laughs> and look what happens. Oh dear me. So I'm in neutral with the brake on. Click, click. Battery's dead. It's a 2008 battery. I guess it's the big cold snap we've had at the end of life. I have had fun on the Ninja, but I will say the weather prediction on the Ninja <laughs> compared to the FJR is basically there's no comparison. <laughs> on the other hand, after riding this Ninja around all morning, when I roll that guy out of the garage, or that girl, I think of her as a girl, uh, God, she was heavy. <laughs> She's a big girl compared to this little thing. Uh, so uh, uh, the Ninja was in the shop for six months. I told the mechanic, the best mechanic in town, a fellow named uh, Zabor, Paul Zabor, here in Austin. I said, you know, you can take your time fixing this, but you know, I'd like to get it fixed right. A couple of my friends worked on it, and they just made everything worse, and I made things worse. Everybody made everything worse. So uh, he had a long time. It needed a new head gasket was the main problem. Uh, what we think happened there, I guess over two years ago now, but what we think happened was my radiator cap went bad, so it overheated, and I did a bunch of things to try and correct that, but never did the right things. So, this is the remote for my camera. So, uh, uh, I wound up blowing the head gasket. <laughs> so, uh, and a friend of mine uh, helped me with the carburetor. He broke some things on the carburetor. But now it's running like a top. The only problem is 48 degrees. Uh, there's uh, there's no uh, not much wind protection on this. But we'll take our chances, and I'll go over to the BMW shop and run one other errand on the way. Maybe get, get a bite to eat somewhere in there. I tell you what, I really am liking this Ninja. I know it's beat up and looks like a piece of crap, but I've got a whole new tank and a whole new. Uh, all the plastic for it I was able to get pretty cheap. It's actually a different year, so every, <laughs> it will be a different color someday. But it's just been a pleasure running this around town. The only problem I've got is the pegs. I don't know if you can see them with the camera in or not. My left knee, the one that's uh, had the OEM part replaced with an aftermarket knee, uh, it tucks it up a little tight, so it's painful to shift gears a little bit. The more I ride it, after I ride it a while, it kind of gets less painful. Uh, it turns out there's a Buell dropped peg that almost fits on there, and people can say you can t grind a little piece off of it or something, it'll fit on there. So I may put a, a dropped peg on the left side where, uh, give me just to make a little bit less, less problems to, to uh, uh, shift gears, particularly in city driving, which is where I want to ride this. And what I can't believe is I rode all this thing all the way when I did my Saddle Store 1000, I guess four or five years ago, that was the first one I did right after I got this bike, and it was in March, and it was fine going to Clovis, it's about 500 miles, but the 500 miles back, as soon as the sun went down, it dropped down to about what it is now, around 45 or so. <laughs> God, I froze my ass off. Today, I, froze, I got pretty cold just driving around town and with maybe in a 10 mile radius. <clears throat> and I went to get the inspection, my light, my license plate light was bad. I had to run around finding a light bulb, and then I came back to change the light bulb, and I unscrewed the, the little housing, and one of the screws dropped out and rolled into that pile of leaves there somewhere, and I could never find it, so I had to go to Ace Hardware, which, thank God for Ace Hardware, they have all the metric nuts and bolts in the world there, so I was able to get a replacement nut that it, for the one that fell out. But, boy, I tell you what, old Paul did a great job in tuning this baby up. We don't need to idle at 5,000 RPM. So here we go. It's going to be a little cold on the freeway. But, you know, 
Man's got to do what a man's got to do. In this case, I don't got to do anything, but got one errand to run. And, uh, oh, hey, that didn't hurt so bad. Oh, maybe this is good therapy for my knee since I graduated from physical therapy. Okay, well, let's see. I'll run down a little bit. I tried the mic on the Ninja, and it's any speed at all and on this guy, and I think it, it tends to overdrive pretty badly. Uh, so, I've got to remember to speak very softly, because this is a lot, and, you know, this helmet, although I've mentioned before, the Scorpion ESO 410 helmet, there's a whole lot to like about it. Snell 10, 2010, high vis don't kill me, Mr. Postman. Uh, fits very comfortably, very reasonable price, but it doesn't have quite as much kind of sound insulation in it as uh, my old Scorpion uh, 700 that got damaged, which is a little higher end helmet, so this helmet is kind of noisy. Okay. This doesn't qualify as polar bear, but for my standards, it's pretty cool. Although we had a solid week where it hardly ever got above freezing. You know, where's global warming when you need it? Okay, it's hurting just, I put it in neutral, it hurt just a little bit. But not too bad, less than it did this morning when I first got on it. And I'm really glad on, poor thing's all dirty here. She needs a, a good bath, which is going to have to wait to warm up. And now i got to add a new battery to the Christmas ship. I'll charge it up, but, you know, a 2008 battery, and we're coming into 2014, I think it's about time for a new one. Uh, I'm disappointed because I was kind of looking forward to riding it. Definitely this is my around town bike, there's no question about it. It's so much easier to get in and out of that garage, and park, and, you know, it's just it's just carefree. I can just enjoy the ride. I might even take this on a track day. I bought a trailer. If you, look, if you follow my videos, I, I actually wind up buying this uh, ramp-free trailer. I, I borrowed it from a friend of mine. Uh, you know, last summer, when I was towing this over to a guy who said he could fix it, and he just broke it worse. So I wound up buying it, and one thing I've got in mind for is to go to the Ozarks. I'd like to go to that Ozark meet in May, I think it's in May. I'll have to get a hold of, uh, of uh, Justin and find out the details on that. Uh, I think I can make that happen, and that gives me the option of... Uh, my wife wants to go to Arkansas too, not to ride motorcycles, because she's a sensible person. But she would like to go, so we could tow either this bike or the FJR up there. Someday, maybe I'll trade this little bike in on a. I like that Honda. So I've been thinking about those small Hondas they've come out with, and I, I really think I first I was leaning towards the. 500 cc sport touring one is that the I forget what they call it the 500x or cv something it's the sport 500 cc sport touring configuration of that small Honda they're building now sorry I keep opening the window my shield keeps fogging up but uh oh, ouch 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 it hurts a little bit to shift gears I looked at uh, just the regular naked version of that, uh, C I think it's just called a plain CV500, and it turns out you can get uh, side bags and a trunk for that. Now, I really like being able to carry, you know, having a trunk, have a little bit of storage on a bike. I, I think that just comes in so handy, even for a round town bike like this. So I'm thinking a CV500 with a trunk would just suit me just fine. Well, it's nice being able to flat foot it a lot, <laughs> something I can't do on the FJR. I miss my paddle shifter though, because every time I shift it hurts a little bit. Well, this shield is bad about fogging. Okay, I think it's about all the battling for now. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll come back in a few minutes when I get to the BMW here.